The war buffaloes have started grazing and as far as I can see they're pretty happy about it. Now I have two pastures but I haven't started using the other one because there's no fence around it and I need to do something about that. A while ago I made my own fence posts and now it's time to put them in the ground. Mm. Apparently first we have to do something else. A couple of days ago my car battery was flat so I had to use the tractor to power it and now the tractor don't have any power. I bought a new battery for the car so now I'm going to use that to power the tractor and see if we can get it started again. Okay, so I talked to all the neighbors so that we agree on where the property line is. It's a good thing to agree before I start so that I don't have to undo anything. So I'm gonna start pushing down three poles and I'm gonna use a fishing line in each end so that I can see where to push down the other fence posts. <laughs> Hopefully the tractor won't tip over, but I'm gonna be as gentle and careful as I can. It's not straight, but I guess it will work uh, as long as it doesn't lean over to the neighbor's side, uh, which it doesn't. It's leaning towards the next post. It doesn't work. Um... So now I know why the fence post didn't want to go in the ground. I went to see the guy that I borrowed the stony thing on the front loader and he asked me how I was doing and I swore a lot and he asked are you swearing because you're trying to put fence posts in the ground and I said mm-hmm uh-huh and I said yep and he said it's it's just too dry it hadn't rained for two three weeks making the ground really really hard and now it's a couple of days later it has been raining I mean really really raining so now I'm pretty excited to see if we can make this work
so that's how you do this. You wait till the ground is uh, wet enough from rain and it's a much better feeling when you work and, uh, and it works <laughs> and, and you almost know what you're doing. So now we have some poles in the surface. Uh, let's try and use the tractor to, to get them in the ground. <laughs> It's not a perfect straight line, uh, but who cares as long as uh, it holds the water buffaloes on the inside and the moose on the outside. I'm so glad I stopped doing it the other day. Sometimes my stubbornness just wants to uh, keep on going, even without figuring out how to properly do the job. And that can be quite stupid sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta stop, take a glass of water and some food and call a friend. Now speaking of friends, this is typically a job for uh, several people. I have tried to gather a couple of friends the last weekends, but something, uh, something always comes up on my part. And during weekdays, uh, people usually are at work or in quarantine. So I just decided that uh, to get this done, I had to do it whenever I could. So yes, this would be a much easier job with some friends, but sometimes you just gotta get it done whenever you can. Three of them broke, they couldn't handle the pressure. It was the skinniest ones, our thoughts and prayers. It's hot, I forgot to bring water, and I'm starting to get hungry. And as we talked about earlier, when in doubt, have a glass of water and some food. I'm starting to make mistakes now, so uh, it's time to call lunch. So of course lunch went into something else, another project that was more urgent to do. And I will continue with the fencing tomorrow. Now this side is done. I also have to do this side with the tractor. Around here I have to do manually because I can't drive the tractor down there. And as you can see the water level is pretty high now. So I have to wait until the water leaves again. You can see where my current fence on the other side is at the moment. And as we learned today, that will be a good thing because uh, then the ground will be wet and it'll be easier for me to, to put down the posts since I'm doing that by hand. I have other projects currently going on as well uh, that I'll share with you guys. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.